Assalamu alaikum everyone my name is Hania today i'm going to be showing you the tombs of prophets we went to when we were in salada so without further ado let's begin so this was outside of prophet hud alay salam's grave this was his tomb Hud alayhi salam is the prophet of Islam. The 11th surah of the Quran, Hud, is named after him. Though the narrative of Hud comprises only a small portion of the surah, 11:50 to 60, some Muslims believe that Hud lived the Hud alayhi salam lived for about 150 years and received revelations and prophethood sometime around 2400 BC. The Quran states that Hud alayhi salam was sent as a warning to the people of Ad, the recently discovered city of Ubar, mentioned in the Quran as Iram, is believed to have been the capital of Ad. This was a signboard that led to the tomb of Prophet Ayub alayhi salam. It was very very foggy there. It may not look like it's foggy in the picture. But if you were actually there it was really foggy. The Prophet Ayub alayhi salam had been a very wealthy man. He was a very good man but he lost his family and his wealth. He became ill and had a terrible body sores all over his body. However, he never gave up and spent his time praying. He was very patient and always kept his faith in Allah. Eventually Allah showed mercy. He took Ayub alayhi salam to strike the earth with his foot. Miraculously a fountain appeared. He drank the water and used it to wash his body. All his sores were healed and everything was returned to him as before. Allah had rewarded him for keeping his faith despite the terrible afflictions he had been tested with. So everyone, always keep faith in Allah. You will get your reward soon. This was Prophet Ayub alayhi salam's footsteps and they were outside his tomb. This was a tree we found outside Imran alayhi salam's grave. Imran alayhi salam's grave is 9 meters long. Can you believe it? Imran alayhi salam in Islam is regarded as the father of Maryam alayhi salam, the mother of Isa alayhi salam. This chapter is named after the family of Imran alayhi salam, which includes Imran alayhi salam, the wife of Imran alayhi salam, Maryam alayhi salam, and Isa alayhi salam. This was when we were going to Awais Karni radhi taala and whose grave, and as you can see from far, it's right there. So, guys, a really important thing I would like to share is that there are many graves of. A West Karni Raya Talan Ho. So no one really knows where it is. Only Allah knows the best. But the place we went to was in Oman, Salala. The story of a West Karni Raya Talan Ho has fascinated Muslim scholars for centuries. He has a special status in Islam and is regarded as a companion of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Even though the two never met, a native of Yemen. Karni set out to Medina to see the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but had to return to take care of his ailing mother. There is another story that states Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lost four of his teeth in the battle of Uhud after being struck with a battle axe. When Awais Karni radhi taala anhu heard about that he decided he would take out his teeth too. So one by one he decided, he took out his teeth. He didn't know which four teeth Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam had lost and eventually all his teeth was gone. That's how much he loved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this was the next place we went to and it wasn't really a tomb but it was outside Prophet Saleh alaihi salam's camel's footprint. So this story begins after the destruction of Ad alaihi salam. After Saleh alayhi salam was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala people didn't believe in him they started worshiping idols so no matter how hard Saleh alayhi salam tried they wouldn't listen to him they said that if you show us a miracle then we will believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So Saleh alayhi salam prayed for a miracle the next day the mountain split and a camel came out of it Now the people of Saleh started to believe in Allah but they weren't still 100% sure. They thought that it was 
magic and they couldn't believe such things. After a while, usually the camel would take her cow and go to drink water. When the cow, camel was drinking water, no one could go near her or drink water with her. Now the people of Saleh started to get sick of this. So one day they killed the camel. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was very very angry with them. Saleh alayhi salam left and they had a big thunder upon them and they all were destroyed. Thanks for watching. See you all next time. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. And bye.